through blistering winds and scorching deserts, I climbed, well, I guess I didn't climb. I arrived at the bottom of the highest bloody tower, not to rescue a princess, but to take my land back. Oh. my truck and I'm I feel like I'm on a main street heading like towards the middle of Toronto so I don't know where I'm gonna end up I'm just going so I'm walking down the street same way I am right now and this old woman with pink hair walks up to me and starts talking to me about pigeons and so I start talking to her about pigeons and she tells me a story about how a hawk brutally murdered a pigeon in her backyard and how she had to grieve for like months dog poop infested pathway because I'm waiting for the perfect shot of a train to go by. So I think I found the poopiest place in Toronto because everywhere I look there is dog poo. So but I guess that's just like at home but I guess our dogs at home have a place to put it. I guess in Toronto there's nowhere to put your poop so it just kind of lands on the street. But anyway the CN Tower would be behind me but the weather is so bad today no CN Tower I guess. This tree here, this tree has said, I'm sick of this city's colonial boundaries. I'm breaking out. Good for you, tree. Me too. Just look how crazy this fog is. That's the Rogers Center over there. And that's the base of the CN Tower. But where's the tower? It's gone. This has been my Toronto video. Miigwech for watching.